So I'm Peter Leinbaugh. I'm a uh, commoner's remembrancer. That is, my job is to rewrite with others human history from the viewpoint of commoners. History needs to be rewritten, and we can only do it with activists who themselves are fighting for the commons. We want the commons of air, water, earth, and mind. All of this we must share and stop its expropriation by the 1% or by the TOFs. They, they go by many different names. Because our methodology is who, whom, just like an owl. Who, whom, it's a conflict. They stole the commons from us throughout history, and we must take it back. Do you see? Who, whom. Who is the actor in history, and who suffers? We must change this and turn the world once again right side up. Otherwise, we and fellow creatures are finished. And the only way to do that is by action. By, by action. And we scholars, we people remembrancers, rely on actors. And actors and activists must do their own history on primary documents because you cannot trust us historians. Always check us. Um, do not rely, question authority at every step. Now, where does commoning take place? Nowadays and in the past, in the kitchen. This is the beginning of the commons. This is a place of sharing. This is the place where life and nurturance is, is created daily. Is the five minutes up yet? That's two. That's two minutes. Okay, well, let's keep going then. Charter oh, yeah. of the forest, you can say something about the charter? The charter of the forest, I can say something. Yeah, that's the first arch, you know, as you look over our story of the last thousand years. That's the first arch of the commoners, of commoning, common of herbage. The next arch is the Peasants' Revolt of 1381. A third arch comes saying, well, in the Peasants' Revolt, what did they say? They said, when Adam delved and Eve span, who was then the gentleman? I love the way they express a revolutionary slogan as a question, as an invitation to think. The answer came in the third arch of common in history. That would be the English Revolution, when Jared Winstanley said, the earth is a common treasury for all. And it's that commons that we must seize again. And we're talking about the whole earth. We're not talking about a globe, a, a plaything, a, a football. We're talking about the earth. We're talking about the land and all the people and all the living creatures in it. This is Winstanley's vision in the English Revolution. And then a fourth arch are the four freedoms. Jumping way ahead now to the World War II, the four freedoms. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom from fear, and freedom from want. Yes, my parents, perhaps your grandparents or your parents, fought for those and died. And now we come to the fifth arch in the history of the commons, and that's us. That's us now, all over the planet. For me personally, it was the Zapatistas in Chiapas, but it might be others for you. It might be the road people. It might be people taking back the land. It might be, I don't know. It might be the students demanding knowledge and not having to pay for it or go into internal servitude and debt. And then Occupy, Standing Rock, that's the indigenous peoples of the Great Plains of North America. The Prisoner Strike, of two years ago, fundamental in North America anyway, and I think probably fundamental in understanding deindustrialization and maybe the advent of Trump as repression becomes the new model we were saying of development of this horrid system of domination. Capitalism, imperialism, all of this must come to an end and we can do it and it's done by action and remembering. We are on a moving train, looking backwards 
and a crash is ahead of us. Didn't Laurie Anderson sing that? I think so. Quoting Walter Benjamin. Anyway, that's why I'm over in England, to celebrate that first arch, the Charter of the Forest, with its recognition of common rights, with its recognition of custom, and with the demand in its first sentence for the restoration of the forests that had been stolen. And we must demand that the earth be restored to the people who live on it, that common treasury, do you see, of, of all. And look, if you don't like history, step out and make some of your own. And that way, that way we can have a good tale to tell to our grandchildren. So, in sum, we must, for protection of the biosphere, the site of all our values that we learn is in the kitchen. We must dig where we stand. And we must remember that it's who whom. Coming over here, I was thinking of the ruling class and who, who, who summarizes that ruling class so well as Macbeth. Remember, he's the serial killer. And he said, after the end with blood on his hands, he said, I begin to be weary of the sun and wish the estate of the world were undone. So there's the ruling class, do you see? They're weary of the sun, the source of all life, the source of all energy. And here they wish and propose from their deaths, from their, their thanatocracy, their government by death. They wish, they wish to see the world undone. No, that's, that we can't permit. That, that we can permit no longer. Are you with me?